Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfen here with Pilot Rhino, and it's a hot summer day in Texas. PGA Championship is on, air conditioning is working. Put a fan up to circulate the air, life is good. So, again, just refreshing everyone. A couple of, actually, before we do the aileron trim, talk about this guy. Just wanna give everyone a quick update in case it's the first time you're watching. So my plan is, to finish the wings completely, I know everyone's gonna have their opinion on it, get them out of here so I can have room to build the fuse, which is coming in about two to three months. So I feel like I'm on pace for that. And then uh, after that, I'm gonna get these out of here. I'm gonna do finish up my IFR certification and then start working on that stuff. So um, I just ordered everything I needed for, uh, to finish the wings, a lot of electrical wiring, all my electrical tools, uh, the servo brackets, things like that from Steiner. And uh, some stuff came from Steiner, some stuff came from Aircraft Spruce, some stuff is coming from Vans. It was just, it was just a lot of planning. But basically, let me give you a quick update here. I found these cool guys, they're called, they're from Shark Bite. They're these, um, suspension brackets because I have one conduit and I actually I'm not going to use this stuff I hate it it's a pain to get through the holes um, the wires kind of get stuck in there and I know you can use the C PVC pipe which will fit in my three quarter inch hole and it's much lighter but the more I think about it I just ordered snap bushings and I'm just going to run the wires through there there's going to be plenty of room if I need to fish some more wires I'm going to run a couple of extra like fishing lines through there tie them off at the end. But then I wanted another conduit because I'm putting a nav antenna, uh, that Bob Archer. And I found these guys. I looked and I looked and I looked for all kinds of things. And I found these guys and they work perfect. I got just some cheap aluminum rivets, nothing, no like structural rivets. Just going to drill a couple of holes like right there. And then I'm going to run 15 of these. They're cheap. It's like five bucks for a pack of 10 at Lowe's. They have them in half inch and three quarter inch. So you could even use these and then put a conduit. You can get like a three quarter inch and then put a C PVC pipe in them, which I think is probably a better idea than drilling any of these holes. But um, I'm just gonna run my coax right through this. So, back to let me get one more thing here oh my god i'm figuring out my zip tips it's all it's a whole thing but let's get back to this thing first of all van sells this five conduit wire so i got that the plan is you put this on one of your access plates and then your access plate gets mounted in the wing and then it connects with springs so Nothing too difficult here in the installation. The, the instructions get more and more sparse as you go. So, you know, you know how to do this stuff, but uh, take your time. Sorry, my prime, there's some like scratches and stuff because I just, I spot or I use the, uh, whatever that stuff's called, the self-etching primer this morning. I didn't really let it cure for a ton of time. So I'll touch it up a little bit, but it's good enough. So, um... Yeah, the big thing I would just say here is just take your time. I made one mistake. I had to drill out all these rivets because I didn't dimple this hole because I just wasn't paying attention. And like, it's not in the instructions anymore. And that's fine. I have no issue with that. By this point in the build, you should know what you're doing. I was just watching the PGA Championship on TV and um, just got distracted and got excited about finishing it up. And that's what I did. But basically... There's really nothing difficult to do here. Uh, you cut out the parts, you, you sand them down on your bench grinder, you torque down your screws, you rivet, or you rivet this together, you torque down your screws, you do all that, and that's about it. No real gotchas here. But this is kind of cool. I wanna show you something here, so watch. 
you take, I have one of these little 12 volt power supplies, but the instructions say you can use a 12 volt battery. You connect to the white and the gray. I thought I had my lead set up, but I guess I didn't. Hang on to test this. And now I'm trying to do this all with one hand. Watch what happens. So that is to go one direction. Now, if we reverse these, so if I put the white on white, and then the, in this case, the green on the gray, it goes the other direction. And the plan is, when I install it, to have it centered. So I was just testing travel through the whole range. No issues, no binding, and then it shuts off. So that's it, pretty fancy. Um, that will get mounted to this, but not until I do the skins. Even though I've torqued down my push rods and everything, I don't suspect that they're gonna move at all. Uh, I think I'm just gonna wait until I'm a little further on to actually uh, screw it in here and then screw the holes here and attach that. But I just wanted to get that out of the way and done while the rest of my stuff is coming. So there you go, bye-bye. So I just realized I spent that whole time showing you all the fun stuff on the wings, but I didn't show you kind of my final settle down plans here. So this is the left wing. The pitot tube will go here. I don't think it actually goes here because I think this is where the um, service bay is. I think it goes either here or here. I, I haven't gotten to that part yet, but the point of the conversation is left wing pitot tube, uh, my lights, obviously, and my antenna, my Bob Archer uh, VOR nav antenna. Um, so that's why the two, I'm not gonna use this conduit, like I said, but that's why the two, we're gonna do the RF, the coax up here, and then all of the lights will go through here, and then the pitot tube will, the, the power for the pitot tube and the controller will jump into that same conduit and go through there. The holes are already drilled for the um, air lines, the pneumatic lines for the pitot. And then now on the other side, I know it's a little harder to see, uh, but lights, autopilot, uh, and trim. One more thing is going in the right wing that I'm gonna run the power for, but I haven't finalized it yet, and I'll wait until later, I'm just gonna run power, is going to be a GoPro camera mount. There's a really cool system from Flight Flix, I think it's F-L-I-X, Flight Flix that I'm looking at, that allows you to basically just run uh, a red and a black, and you can probably get your ground from somewhere else. So I'm just gonna run the red and black. I'll figure it out. You probably ground in the wingtip, but either way. Um, and then you just run power, and it's only like one or two amps. So I'm just running 20 gauge to a little box. It's only about three inches by two inches by two inches or so that I could put like right here or in the wingtip somewhere. And then that can be turned on and off from the cockpit to activate a kind of GoPro-ish type camera. So when you flip the switch, it turns it on, it starts the recording, and it, um, uh, yeah, it does, oh, it charges it, it keeps it charged. And then obviously when you turn it off, it automatically does something. It, there's a USB port you put in your, uh, dashboard and when you turn it off it automatically puts the data finalizes the video onto the USB little thumb drive and turns off the cameras the cool thing also is that you can run it all comes with the whole kit comes with the uh, AV or just I guess the video you don't need the audio but anyways you can bring it into your system your um Wow, I'm really having a hard time here. Whatever they're called, your monitors, your EFIS display. So like in my case with Dynon, I could literally bring it into my Dynon and I could look at it on the screen if I wanted to. I'm gonna run 
two external cameras. I'm going to do one on the right wing tip, and that will probably be a 360 camera. And then I'm going to run one. I got this idea from Gil at Build Fly Go uh, on the top of the rudder, which I just love. So then you'll get kind of that forward facing top down view, and then you'll have kind of an undercarriage like wing view. And then I'll obviously have one in the cockpit looking at me or looking at the instruments and stuff. So that's all. Just wanted to share all that. Next project I'm working on is the, uh, the, all of the fiberglass. So you can see it's a mess in here because I started working on fiberglass. But I got the first piece fit. And I'll share more about that later. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.